name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear beloved viewers, welcome to Uganda Catholic Television, UCTV Good News for All. This Monday morning, the 27th of November, 2023. And today, for our daily readings and reflections, we take the readings of Monday of the 34th in ordinary time. May we listen to the readings being proclaimed to us, and we shall have the reflections also given to us. A reading from the beginning of the book of the prophet Daniel. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand, with some of the vessels of the house of God, and he brought them to the land of Shina, to the house of his God, and placed the vessels in the treasury of his God. Then the king commanded Ashpenaz, his chief eunuch, to bring some of the people of Israel, both of the royal family and of the nobility, youths without blemish, handsome and skillful in all wisdom, endowed with knowledge, understanding, learning, and competent to serve in the king's palace and to teach them the letters and language of the Chaldeans. The king assigned them a daily portion of the rich food which the king ate and of the wine which he drank. They were to be educated for three years and at the end of that time, they were to stand before the king. Among these were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah of the tribe of Judah. But Daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's rich food or with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he asked the chief of the eunuchs to allow him not to defile himself. And God gave Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the chief of the eunuchs. And the chief of the eunuchs said to Daniel, I fear lest my lord the king, who appointed your food and your drink, should see that you are in poorer condition than the youths who are of your own age. So you would endanger my head with the king. Then Daniel said to the steward, whom the chief of the eunuchs had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Test your servants for ten days. Let us be given vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance and the appearance of the youths who eat the king's rich food be observed by you. And according to what you see, deal with your servants. So he listened to them in this matter and tested them for 10 days. At the end of 10 days, it was seen that they were better in appearance and fatter in flesh than all the youths who ate the king's rich food. So the steward took away their rich food and the wine they were to drink and gave them vegetables. As for these four youths, God gave them learning and skill in all letters and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. At the end of the time, when the king had commanded that they should be brought in, the chief of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. And the king spoke with them, and among them all, none was found like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, therefore they stood before the king. And in every matter of wisdom and understanding concerning which the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters that were in all his kingdom. The word of the Lord. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, 
God of our fathers, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. And blessed is your glorious holy name, and to be highly praised and highly exalted forever. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, and to be extolled and highly glorified forever. And highly exalted forever. Blessed are you upon the throne of your kingdom, and to be extolled and highly exalted forever. You have and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you who sit upon cherubim and look upon the deeps, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven and to be sung and glorified forever. You are to be praised and highly exalted forever. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Watch, therefore, and be ready. The Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus looked up and saw the rich putting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw a poor widow put in two copper coins. And he said, truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. For they all contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, put in all the living that she had. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. My dear friends in Christ, self-sacrifice, renunciation, faith, and commitment are the lessons that our blessed Lord Jesus Christ is teaching us in today's gospel. Jesus gives us a contrast between the wealthy who are offering out of their abundance and the poor widow who offers all she has for her living. And Jesus looks at this lady and he says she has put in more than everybody else had put in. The gifts that this lady offers or that this widow offers are not being measured by the amount, but they are being measured by the heart of the giver and by the generosity of the giver. Her offering is and that she fully trusts in God and she can give him back everything because she knows that all that she has is from God. In the book of First Kings chapter 17 verse 7 to 23, we hear the story of Elijah and the widow. The widow offers Elijah all that she had for her food and Elijah is taken into her house and she offers him accommodation as well. Shortly after that, the son of this widow passes on. But because she had been generous to Elijah, Elijah decides to ask God to raise her son back to life. When we take somebody to our home, when we are charitable to people, such people feel obliged to watch our backs, as we say. In Genesis chapter 4, in the story of Cain and Abel, Abel offered the best of his sacrifice, and yet Cain chose from the worst. God blesses Abel the more, and this makes Cain jealous and envious of his brother Abel, and he decides to kill Abel. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the lessons in today's gospel are... Do we 
offer our all to God? Do we renounce ourselves from the things of this world? Are we committed to our faith? And this is not only when it comes to offertory or offerings in church. And of course, even when we talk about offerings in church, we know that a number of times people choose the least amount in their pockets, the least denomination in their pockets to offer. And the rest, they say, this one here remains to take care of my other needs. But even when we come to other services in the church, for instance, if you have decided to be a choir member, do you give God your all? If you are called upon to be a priest and you have accepted this call, do you give God your all? And if you are called upon to be a cantor or to be a lector, do you give your best to God? When we answer this question and when we listen to the call of our Lord Jesus Christ, we get to know that everything that we have comes from God as we find in Romans chapter 11 verse 36. Dear brothers and sisters, as we start this new week, may the spirit of generosity come upon us. Generosity to God, generosity to our neighbor, and we pray that everything that we do may be blessed by God, especially when we are charitable and generous. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Many thanks once again, dear viewers, for being loyal to Uganda Catholic Television, UCTV, and we are bringing you good news, and this good news is for everybody. And I pray that the good Lord may bless your new week, and may bless each and everything that you touch in this new week. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I remain Father Aloysius Opio Opio coming your way from the Archdiocese of Tororum.